baseball is back, baby. Yes, baseball is back. And after talking long MLB lockout, and yes, I'm gonna be doing my predict from the 2022 MLB predictions. Is there almost there tomorrow? Will be final day on spring training. Fitch during the Tampa Bay Rays and Philadelphia Phillies. But right now, I'm going to be doing my MLB predictions. Is there almost to tomorrow? I cannot decide to watch MLB is back. Let me know in the comment section down below in the next video. And now, so now we're having to do it. We'll go to the World Series in 2022. Let's get started. Starting off with the AOE side. Starting off with the fifth place, it's the Baltimore Oilers doing the worst record in the MLB because they're trash. Being the teams there and then actually the baseball team and the Baltimore Oilers. The Baltimore Oilers are a bad team. Now I'm going to go 7-92 record in the final standings. In the fourth place, it's the Boston Red Sox. They got in and made the AOCS last year. And then they make it in Boston Red Sox. So what are they going to do with the Red Sox team? They got the meaning rival Yankees. And they got two rival against the Rays. And they, before they fall in, they use the Astros in six, the ALCS. The Red Sox are going to do the finish record with 83 wins and 79 losses. And the third place in the AO East is going to be the New York Yankees. They got the Yankees team and hit the best. The Yankees are overall and they make it to the playoffs last season. The New York Yankees are good and the very teams. The Yankees are not gonna get it to the AOCS, the last AOCS since 2019. I'm gonna do the Yankees with the final record standings with 86 wins and 76 loss. And the second place is the Tampa Bay Rays. Last season, they record of 100 wins in 62 losses. They four before they falling to Boston Red Sox in four, and they three one. They losing on the other side. The Tampa Bay Rays. They no longer their Philip Brett Phillips. There's no longer Brett Phillips. The Rays in the two seed and the Nin Raid. They're good. And finally, the first place a non-American. It was the Toronto. Actually, the first I race have a seven wins and seven final loss. Unfortunately, the top was there. Finally, up the number one place in the AO East is a non-American. It's the Toronto Blue Jays. Is the number one place they got in the Blue Jays in the last season. But in last season, the Blue Jays did not make it to playoffs since the. 10th place due to the Blue Jays loss. Big Blue Jays win against Oilers in the final day. The Blue Jays did not make the playoffs because the allowed the Yankees didn't make it to the playoffs. They make it to the playoffs. So the Blue Jays been doing and doing the game, and then the Blue Jays are last team. The last World Series Blue Jays have won in the World Series title since '93. Did Joe Carter with the walk off home run in Game Six to win the series? Orient to do for Phillies. So the Toronto Blue Jays, my final standings, it's 9-5 to 67. Now on the AL Central side, for fifth place, we have the Kansas City Royals. As they not in the, the Kansas City Royals, they did not make a draft in the hand and do no and they do the Royals and the, then the, not near anyone that does not else the Royals team and anyone. So the Kansas City do not anything. The Royals team and gonna do not every attempts. The Royals are not gonna go over or happen. So I'm gonna finish the worst record. The Royals are finished the record with 75 wins and 97 losses. Then the fourth place is the Cleveland Guardians. Yes, the Cleveland Guardians with the new name. It's a local controversy. Check up Wikipedia below and the Cleveland Indians name in local controversies. Anyone the controversy games. Those names was changed in the controversy and then saved that. Fourth place is Cleveland Guardians with another man in the final year post Cleveland Indian era. So then Cleveland Indians last season did not make it to the playoffs. So the number of the teams, the Guardians and the franchise, the name was changed. The changes in the known the game was changed. And then the Guardians are nonsense and did not make it to the curse since 1948. So Cleveland Indians, the curse is not yet the Guardians. 
The Guardians are crazy sense. So that I'm gonna go to the Cleveland Guardians with a finished record with 79 wins and 83 losses. Then the third place is Detroit Tigers. In last season, Detroit Tigers win 2021 and finishing the record so they're not showing off. The Tigers the non best team in the lead. The Detroit is not in needs in the game. And the Detroit Tigers are not make it the team. And the Detroit. So Detroit and the teams and it happen. Detroit Tigers team. I don't know in the Detroit Tiger team here. I'm gonna do Detroit Tigers with eighty one wins and eighty one losses is nonsense. Second place is the Minnesota Twins. The Minnesota Twins in last season, the worst record in the AO, and then the Twins, the poor. The poor record is not in the worst record teams in the AO Centros. And then the Minnesota Twins are the second place, and they're going to do the Minnesota Twins, and then not make it to so the playoffs. So the last playoff win since 2 the beating American League Division Series against Oakland Athletics. In the series in 2002. So then I'm going to go to the Twins for final record predictions. is 83 wins and 79 losses. And then finally, in the first place is the Chicago White Sox. Winning the best team record and winning on the AL Central. The last year, the losing in the Chicago, the Houston Astros in American League Division Series in four. And the losing in the nonsense in the White Sox to trash. And the nonsense in the Astros and Hannah Crazy. I'm gonna be and this should be. I'm gonna go the Chicago White Sox with the first place with a finished record of 92 wins and 16 losses. Next one, we have the AL West side, the Texas Rangers, the fifth place on the AL West. The teams are in the man and him, the worst record. The Texas Rangers are a bad team right now in the league, and the 16 didn't happen there. So I'm gonna go with the Texas Rangers with the worst record of 67 wins and 95 losses. Texas Rangers are bad teams right now. When they're gonna do, they're gonna find here. The fourth place is gonna be the Oakland Athletics. Last season, Athletics are better than Hot Street Tyler, but they missed after the playoffs. The Athletics are the nonsense in Oakland fans. Do you love Oakland? So the Oakland Athletics are. I hope they get them. Will be go to Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Nevada is in Sherry Barry, the Las Vegas Raiders in the NFL. The Oakland Athletics are bad, so I'm gonna do since. I'm gonna go the 76 wins, the 86, 76 wins, and 86 loss will not make it to the playoffs. The third place is gonna be the Los Angeles Angels. They got Shohei Otani here, they were in remorse. 46 home runs in the record in the game in 2021 season. And they got in the MLB 20 to show cover. And then the MLB in Shohei Otani with Japan. Japanese. Japanese is a baseball guy and Hannah Du. And the record announcers, those are the AO Angels team. And Shohei Otani is not going to get home run in the past that. So I'm going to do the Angels with 80 wins to 82 losses. The second place is going to be the Seattle Mariners. They got the Mariners soft. They're not going to make it the Mariners. They're still drought yet. The so last playoff appearance for Seattle Mariners since 2001 when Ichiyo Suzuki had 160 wins for the Mariners, the rest record in 46 losses. The Seattle Mariners are a bad team. The Mariners team, the last Mariners appearance in ALCS since 2001. I'm gonna go with the Mariners with 85 wins and 77 loss. And the AOS are finally in the number one place. It's the Houston Astros. The Astros are the sign stealing and cheating in the last year, 2017-2018. And this year, the Houston Astros are not crazy. There's loss in the last year World Series for the losing against the Atlanta Blaves in six games. This craziest and then the non crazy Houston Astros fans. The Astros fans are sign stealing in the last year. The cheaters, not the Houston Astros cheaters. The Astros are cheat and the craziest since the Astros cannot make it. I'm gonna go the Astros with 101 wins and 66, 61 loss. They're the best record in the MLB side. And now the AO is set up the one, two, and three. The winners of division wins. Division winners: the Astros, Blue Jays, and White Sox. Now for the NL side. First, we have the NL East side. We got the 
fifth place is the Miami Marlins. This is crazy. Miami Marlins are none records. Beating the Miami Marlins did not make it to the playoffs. The Marlins land two years ago. The Marlins make it to the playoffs in 2020. And the Marlins did not attempt to make it to the AL- NLCS. The last NLCS for the Marlins since 2003. The Marlins didn't take out the Giants in four. And they didn't make it to the AL- NLCS for potential World Series champion run against the New York Yankees in 2003. So I'm going to do the Miami Marlins with 68 wins and 94 loss. The fourth place is the Washington Nationals. Taking the fourth place, the realest teams in the MLB history. They then back in 2005, they relocated to Montreal to Washington. The Expos, the Nationals, and known as the defunct MLB teams. The Washington Nationals, that three years ago, they won the World Series in 2019, took down the Houston Astros as the wild card. They do not even do the Washington Nationals. And then make it to the second round in the World Series run. The Nationals are a bad team with the dude Dame and him and go. So I'm going to go the Washington Nationals with 74 wins and 88 losses. Third place is going to be the Philadelphia Phillies. The third place, the Philadelphia Phillies have not made it to the playoffs as the nine-year absence and last play appearance since 2011, the Phillies have ended Dynasty. Thank God for that he did in 2017, the last World Series appearance from the Phillies since 2009. And they win the World Series in 2008, so the Phillies do not make it to the playoffs. So I'm going to go with 83 wins and 79 losses. The second place in the NL East is got the Atlanta Blaves. And the World Series champions, the defending World Series champs, the Atlanta Blaves are a bad team right now, and don't know you know Atlanta the best team with the Atlanta Braves. The Atlanta Braves win the World Series run. They take down the Milwaukee Brewers in the NLDS, and then the defending World Series champions, the NLCS, the Los Angeles Dodgers, before they take down the Houston Astros in six. The Atlanta Braves at the three two seat three seed the last year. Now we're gonna do the second place. My Atlanta Braves, I'm going to go 9 wins and 72 loss. And finally, the first place in the NL East, the surprise New York Mets. Last season, the New York Mets team, crazy New York Mets fans are in the Cronauts. Cronauts on the New York Mets team. Unnecessary the New York Mets on the National since the last New York Mets appearance since 2016. And the last World Series appearance since 2015. The Mets are the non-crazy and then moving New York Mets team. The number of the NLE surprise, the New York Mets. I'm going to go the New York Mets with a finished record of 98 wins and 64 loss. On the NL Central side, we got the first the fifth place is the Pittsburgh Pirates. With the fifth place is the craziest team in the lead. The Pittsburgh Pirates are their last play appearance since, since 2015. I don't know, and they're gonna get the Pittsburgh Pirates are crazy. Yes, the last playoff win since 2013 when the Pittsburgh Pirates defeat Cincinnati Reds. So the Pirates are cursed in the per sports history in Pittsburgh. And the last Pittsburgh Pirates appearance since the World Series in 1979 did the Oilers did in the 1979. So I'm gonna go the Pittsburgh Pirates with. 69 wins and 93 losses with the worst record. Do not make it to the playoffs. On the fourth place, it's got the Cincinnati Reds. And then last year, Cincinnati Reds, and then no one no, 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 saved. And then it's worse. And the Cincinnati Reds, the Cincinnati Reds up two years ago. Two years ago, the Cincinnati Reds make it to the playoffs as a seventh seed before he losing to the 2020 NL Walker against Atlanta Braves. And then the last. Cincinnati Reds last playoff win since 1995, and then before they losing the Atlanta Braves in 1995 NLCS, the Cincinnati Reds are not the best team, and they curled in the right. So then they're gonna go with the Cincinnati Reds with 71 wins and 91 losses. The another another worst record in the in the MLB game. Third place is she got the Chicago Cubs, and win the third place the last year. The last year, the Chicago Cubs are the realest record in the history of the Cubs. Then the two years ago, the Chicago Cubs make it to the playoffs as the three seed before he fall to Miami Marlins and they sweep the best of three series. And then this in weekend in the Chicago Cubs, and this is not uh, crazy. And then it will be right there. And then him.
and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Chicago Cubs. We're gonna have 77 wins and 85 loss. And yep, and 77 wins and 85 losses. In the second place in the NL Central, the St. Louis Cardinals and the bad team. In the last season, the Cardinals have closing in the wild card against an LA Dodgers to walk off by Taylor. The Taylor didn't crazy than the St. Louis Cardinals. The last St. Louis Cardinals appearance in the World Series since 2013. The St. Louis Cardinals lost before the losing against Boston Red Sox. And then St. Louis Cardinals is the last World Series win against the Texas Rangers. In 2011, the St. Louis Cardinals in the 9th and when the Devin Freeze walk off in 2011 game 6 and then walk off. The St. Louis Cardinals when they do this game with this team. So the St. Louis Cardinals are the crazy team. I'm gonna go the 86 wins and 76 loss. And the number one, the first place is Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers are last season with the second, for the first place and second seed with the end winner of the NL Central. Before they losing to the Milwaukee, before before they losing against Atlanta Braves, and then the last World Playoff win against Milwaukee Brewers since 2018, did the Colorado Rockies the last World Series win, the last World Series appearance since 1982 as the end member of the AL Central, AL American League, and then before they moved in 1998, so the leading change is gonna do. The Milwaukee Brewers are a bad team. Actually, not bad team, but the Brewers team. When they get to the playoffs, I'm going to go the Brewers with 9-4 wins and 68 loss. And finally, in the NOS, starting off with the fifth place is Colorado Rockies. The fourth place is going to do a tough match. And the Colorado Rockies. Now, we're going to go. I'm going to make it the last Colorado Rockies in the World Series appearance since 2007. They're making the wild card run before they losing the Boston Red Sox. They get swept in 2007 World Series champions. I'm gonna go the Rockies with 75 wins and 87 loss. The number four place is Arizona Diamondbacks. Last season, the worst record in Arizona Diamondbacks. Then, then right there, and it happened. The last playoff appearance since 2017. With the round Diamondbacks before the losing against Dodgers. The last World Series appearance since tw- 2001. When the Diamondbacks walk off against Yankees in Game 7 of the World Series. Craziest scenes the Diamondbacks have been. Crazy team. The Arizona Diamondbacks are not going to go happen. So I'm going to go the Arizona Diamondbacks. Where they finish the record with 76 wins and 86 loss. And the third place. It's the San Diego Padres up two years ago. San Diego Padres beat the San Diego Cardinals in 2020 and a wild card. And they before they losing against the Dodgers team and then Jordan the Padres. The Padres are the craziest team in San Diego. The Padres are the non realist team but San Diego Padres. Then make it do not make the playoffs in 2021. So I'm gonna go to San Diego Padres with a finished record of 85 wins and 77 losses, and did not make it. So here on the side, the second place is on the San Francisco Giants. Last season, San Francisco Giants with the best record of 107 wins and 55 loss before they losing against the Los Angeles Dodgers and the NLDS. Before they in the swing, I saw this Giants and it is check swing. The Dodgers Giants are the best record in the half side. The last World Series appearance since 2014. Beat the Royals as the wild card Giants team in the 2014 Dynasty for SF San Francisco team. San Francisco and the Nine Megan do the Giants are crazy and then the team are go here. So I'm gonna go to San Francisco Giants with 88 wins and 74 loss. And finally, the number one place in the final NL win. The Los Angeles Dodgers, where did last year the 106 wins and 56 loss, the best record on the NL in the National League team, with the best team right now and last year, the Dodgers took down the St. Louis Cardinals, and then the second one, the NLDS took down the San Francisco Giants, and then before they losing, the NLCS against the Atlanta Braves in a rematch, the Dodgers a bad team, and then in recent issues, the Dodgers are a crazy team. I'm gonna be selects. The Dodgers aren't gonna do it now. 
So I'm gonna go to the Dodgers with the first place with the best record with 103 wins and 59 losses. This is crazy in the best record. And now let's check out the final standings in the AO and NL. Uh, for first in the AO, the A Astros top seed. We're going by the second place is the Toronto Blue Jays. The third place is Chicago White Sox. Looks like we're getting in a win in three for third place. The fourth place is the Tampa Bay Rays. The fifth place is New York Yankees. And the sixth seed, Seattle Mariners. And they are in the hunt. Red Sox, the seven. Twins, the eight. Tigers, the nine. Angels, the ten. Guardians, the eleven. Athletics, twelve. Royals, thirteen. Orders, fourteen. And the Texas Rangers, fifteen. I didn't say the fifth place. I'm going to do fifteen. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. And there we go. Now for the NL side. The Dodgers 1, Mets 2, Brewers 3, Braves 4, Giants 5, and Cardinals 6. And the NL Hunt and the NL, the 7 Padres did not make it to the playoffs. Did not make it to tiebreaker. At least, at least, and it's crazy. The Padres are not but bad teams. The 8 Phillies, 9 Cubs. 10 Diamondbacks, 11 Rockies, 12 Nationals, 13 Reds, 14 Pirates, and 15 Marlins. Now we're going to go to the MLB playoffs. And now what we do, let's check in on predicts and picks and best of three. And best of five and best of seven. Let's get going to go predicts. Here we go. We'll be right back. Guys, we're back. And as you can see, this is fourth season. We're expanded to 12 teams due to the lockout because we're moving to 10 to 12. And then the lot of the 12 teams explain the playoffs. This year, they're then making an addition with 6th seed. No receding yet, just like NFL playoffs. Very similar in the NFL playoffs since 1990 to 2019. And then there's no receding's. They're not make There's no receding's example. There's an example. They're not in a minimum design example. The 6 plus is 2. And it will play the six versus two. And then in that, just like NBA playoffs, and then they make it the six and two, and then make it to the playoff run, and they're going to don't know the six and two, how they're going to be doing. Very similar NFL playoffs, they're not, there's, there's no receding's. Example, like six and one, will play the winner, but play with four or five, but play the two. And each CE issue is in the play in the playoffs. Now let's check out the AO. First one, the AO one. Start on the AL wild card. The Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees, the one and the four and five matchup, their division rivalry. The Rays are a good team and you know, issues, and the Yankees are in crazy. They're gonna do in the right side with the Tampa Bay teams. The New York Yankees, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna take the Yankees in two games to one over the Rays in three games. And then over here, the three versus six. Uh, matchup in Chicago, the White Sox and Mariners, the three and six matchup. The Chicago White Sox are a good team, and the main eight. So the White Sox are the six three seed when they end Central against the Mariners and the Mariners team. The very two game issues in the nonsense. The Mariners did not gonna crazy as I'm gonna go the Mariners in two games, two games to none. And we're moving on to the division series. This is each is the best of three series. The best of three series in the wild card and wild card and the best of five division series. Best of seven league championship series and the best of seven still the same from the world series. And then I move on in and then I forgot to put the four C. I didn't move there. I'm gonna do a four seed. Starting off is the four and five Braves versus Giants. Good match up there, the Atlanta Braves, the Braves, and they're crazy. And then they're not gonna get the Braves, and they're gonna do the Atlanta Braves, and they're crazy, and it happen. I'm in the issues there. I'm gonna go with the Braves, win the series over Giants, three games to one. Two games to one, actually. Then we get the Brewers versus Cardinals, the rivalry matchup. There are three misses, six. The Brewers are the main, and make it to the Brewers. I don't know how I'm going to make it in the wake the Bluers team. I don't know why I'm going to do the Milwaukee Bluers team. 
make it to the playoffs. So I'm gonna go with the Milwaukee Brewers complete the sweep over the Cardinals two games to none. Now for the division series game, we got the Astros versus Yankees. We got the rivalry game. Since 2015, the Astros moved into the NL2 in 2013. The Astros are back in the best team. The Houston Astros. I don't know why the Astros make it to the playoff game. I'm gonna go to Houston Astros win the series three games to one. And then I'm gonna stop that and we're in loop. Get out of my loop there. The fifth and then three games to one the Astros best team with one no one wins. The two seed, this is the three seed Toronto Blue Jays take on the Chicago White Sox. The Ben and the Blue Jays team, I don't know who wanna join and make it the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays good team. The NL East side, the best team in the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays and then never happen. The AO East make it to uh eight years. And since except twenty eleven, there are no AO East and make it the AO East appearance since two thousand twelve up to 2000, 2021. I'm gonna do this year to turn to make it to the rest team. Then we're gonna do the Chicago White Sox. So I'm gonna go to the Toronto Blue Jays in five, three games to two. Up here in the NL side, rematch of the NLCS twice. We got the Dodgers and the Braves. They're making the Dodgers and don't know how. Why the Dodgers are gonna do with the best record, Riven team, 103 wins. And then the best team right now in the lead. And don't know how the Braves are going to do. I'm going to select the Dodgers win over the Braves three games to one in four games. And then on the upside, the 2 3 matchup in New York, the Mets and the Brewers. The Mets are the good, and then Brewers are bad. So the Mets are going to make it. So the Mets are going to do the Mets team. The Brewers are the good and mad. The team in the New York Mets team. The Brewers are not the craziest. The Brewers and the Mets are going to do it. The, I'm going to make it there in Milwaukee. I'm going to go to New York Mets to sweep the 3-0 over the Brewers. And the God moving on to the vision in the championship series. In the championship series, the ALCS, we got the Astros and Blue Jays. The two teams in the final four, the Astros and Blue Jays. I'm going to still in the man. I'm gonna go with the Astros win the series in four to two. I'm gonna go the Houston Astros are going to the World Series. The Astros and don't know why the number one seed with the best record in the team is sure. And then the Houston Astros win over the Blue Jays. And then now the NLC side, the Dodgers and Mets in Los Angeles rivalry teams and gonna do with the matchups. They're gonna do win games. Then make it and then hear it happen. I'm gonna gonna do it game. Maybe I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Los Angeles Dodgers. We're going to the World Series in seven games in the meeting match in NLCS. Now for the World Series championship game Astros versus Dodgers. Rematch of the 2017 World Series. This is a tough game matchup there when the Astros are sign stealing and cheating. And right there, the Astros, the team. So I'm gonna go in a band on the right, so them there. The Dodgers are not happy there. It's game five, one in the highest scoring game. And the band don't know why. The Astros make it. So they make it as in now. I'm gonna go with my predictions for the World Series in 2022. It's the Houston Astros win the World Series. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna go the Astros beating Dodgers in 2022. That's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. That's it. And my MLB is back. In 2022, after a lockout in the April 7 and the 8 October 5. That's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. Sign out and pace out. March Man's review is up next. Bye.